Welcome back. We are here uh, looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 10, 2020, for the foreign exchange market. If you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So this was an absolutely amazing day for foreign exchange. I only did one more one trade in this, and that was for Euro, US dollar and the yen because. I only trade at uh, major resistance and major support, and it was, well, a fairly good trade. I didn't expect it to go as far as it did, um, so I booked my uh, profit early. But we'll start by looking at the, the uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see that we are finding resistance here, around this area here, at the 1317, uh, and at this point, I'm, I would say that we are most likely going back towards the 50 minute average. If you look at the technical indicators, especially the uh, the CCI and also the uh, stochastic and also the Bollinger Band, they are basically screaming that we basically need a pullback from here. So we'll probably see something similar to this in the long run for the next um, next uh, few days of this week, and probably also next uh, next week, um, it'll see a move towards this 50 minute average before we rallied uh, further from here. There's probably no reason to expect this to go higher than, than 1317. So if you look at the US dollar yen, this was my trade of the day. This was completely anticipated because we are trading within the channel. But the question is whether or not we will see a similar move to the downside. Um, and probably not right away and the reason why i say that is because the technical indicators are extremely bullish at this point so we'll probably need um, a few days in order to start moving back towards the downside and then go and retest these lows again you can see the last time we rallied we went just went sideways 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 pulled back a little bit up and then we broke down um, but this we're still within this channel the channel is still intact and there is not any reason for us to expect us a break uh, uh, through of this channel at this point. Most likely, we'll trade sideways for uh, the next week. If we start rallying significantly down, then I will definitely be a buyer, uh, seller in this market because this will be the market buy uh, bottom of the market. So, euro US dollar, we pull back quite significantly. Um, we are finding a lot of resistant here in this area, which was previous resistant. So at this point, we are pulling back to the worst uh, 50 moving average here at 1176. And we're most likely going to go lower. Technical indicators for, for the euro US dollar are fairly negative. You can see the stochastic is turning around, RSI is turning around, CCI is turning around, everything is technically turning around. And that means that we most likely will go and retest these lows at 11.62. So that is probably our destination for now. No reason to expect a rally from here. So Aussie US dollar, this is not a very good sign. If we have another red candlestick underneath here tomorrow's session, then that could be a sign that we are going to go significantly lower in this market. At least the 50 moving average at uh, 0 0.716. Uh, and if that breaks down towards the uh, 150 moving average at 0 0.7066. Technical indicators are turning around. Stochastic, RSI, CCI are all turning around. Not the MACD at this point, but the Bollinger Band is screaming uh, basically sell. So expect a pullback from here. US dollar, yen, we had a major pullback and then rallied again up to where, where we basically started. So we're at 001. So at this point, this is major uh, support. I'm guessing that we are going to turn around from here and head towards the 20 exponential moving average at 1316 uh, before we go and lower. This will be our destination, this trend line here. So if you zoom out, this is basically going to be our target way down here. So there's no expectation for this to, to rally significantly. 
we are buying basically you know, selling into these pullbacks in order to get towards this area here so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by liking the video subscribing and hit the bell button in order to see our newest videos and we have a um, signal service on patreon and you also get full access to our technical analysis so good luck and thank you very much Thank you.